Welcome to your channel, ADP for Learning. My name is Ashish. Today we are continuing our journey of learning about nutritional and metabolic diseases. The next disease which we cover today is Tay-Sachs disease. Tay-Sachs disease, a heritable metabolic disorder commonly associated with Ashkenazi Jews, has also been found in the French Canadians of southeastern Quebec, the Cajuns of southwest Louisiana, and other populations throughout the world. The severity of expression and the age at onset of Tay-Sachs varies from infantile and juvenile forms that exhibit paralysis, dementia, blindness and early death to a chronic adult form that exhibits neuron dysfunction and psychosis. Tay-Sachs is an autosomal recessive disease caused by mutations in both alleles of a gene on chromosome 15. Hexacodes for the alpha subunit of the enzyme beta-hexosaminidase A. This enzyme is found in lysosomes, organelles that break down large molecules for recycling by the cell. Normally, beta-hexosaminidase A helps to degrade a lipid called GM2 gangliocide, but in Tay-Sachs individuals, the enzyme is absent or present only in very reduced amounts, allowing excessive accumulation of the GM2 gangliocide in neurons. The progressive neurodegeneration seen in the varied forms of Tay-Sachs depends upon the speed and degree of GM2 gangliocide accumulation, which in turn is dependent upon the level of functional beta-hexosaminidase present in the body. A mouse model has been developed for Tay-Sachs although its usefulness is limited since Tay-Sachs mice possess a minor alternative pathway for breaking down GM2 ganglioside. Treatment of the late-onset form of Tay-Sachs with a ganglioside synthesis inhibitor shows promise. The effectiveness of this and other treatments on individuals with the infantile form of the disease is extremely limited since the extent of neurological damage prior to birth is unknown. The difficulty in reversing such damage will make it hard to develop an effective treatment for the infantile form of the disease. It is hoped, however, that the latter onset forms of Tay-Sachs may prove responsive to treatment. And such treatment combined with the DNA and enzymatic screening programs currently in use will lead to the eventual control of this disease. Thank you for joining the amazing journey of learning. In the future, we will again meet to cover all other diseases that are caused due to nutritional and metabolic disorders. Meanwhile don't forget to like, share, and comment.